For those who've been watching F1 for years, this hits differently. We remember when Ayrton Senna could find two seconds per lap through pure skill and car setup. We remember when Adrian Newey could design a car so good it made other teams question reality. We remember when innovation was the entire point of this sport. The W11 was the last car that could make you sit up and go, how is that even possible? It was the last time a team could build something so perfect and so dominant that it redefined what we thought was achievable in motorsport. And honestly, watching it dominate in 2020 was beautiful. Yes, it made some races boring and it reduced competition, but it was also a masterclass in engineering excellence that we'll never see again. The W11's legacy goes beyond just being fast. But more than that, it represents what's possible when brilliant minds are given the freedom to innovate without artificial restrictions. It's a testament to human ingenuity, to the pursuit of perfection, and to the idea that there's always a way to go faster. In 50 years, when people talk about the greatest F1 cars ever built, the W11 will be mentioned alongside the Lotus 79, the McLaren MP4-4, the Ferrari F2004, and the Red Bull RB19 but it'll have a special place as the last of its kind. The W11 wasn't just the fastest car in F1 history. It was the last great expression of unlimited innovation in motorsport. A beautiful, terrifying monster that we'll never see again.